Find all the solutions in degrees if 0 equals cos 2x plus cos 6x. Now, before we tarry any further, uh, you can't just add these guys. It's not like you can be like, well, let's combine them, cos 8x. No, you can't combine cosines that have different insides. So I have to find a way to add these. Well, I wonder if there's a trig identity that will do just that. Good news, there is. Cosine alpha, or in this case, alpha would be 2x, plus cosine beta, 6x, uh, has an identity, and it's 2 cosine alpha plus beta over 2. So we'll put that in parentheses, times cosine alpha minus beta over 2. Now, if you're wondering, well, which one should be alpha, which one should be beta? At the end of the day, since you're using cosines, it's not going to make a difference. It's not going to make any difference at all. So if I make believe that 2x is alpha and that 6x is beta, I can say that 0 equals 2 times cosine alpha plus beta 2x plus 6x, so 8x over 2. I'll simplify that in the middle or in a minute or in a middle. I don't know why I said middle. Uh, cosine alpha minus beta is negative 4x over 2. And this ends up giving me 0 equals 2 cos 4x cos negative 2x. Now, why does all this matter? Those of you who have been watching these videos from beginning to end have been really following along in chronological order know that if 0 equals something times something times something, we do zero product property and we set each something equal to 0. So the first thing that we would set equal to 0 is 2. 2 equals 0? Who cares? The second thing that we would set equal to 0 is cos 4x. So I'm not sure how much space I'm going to have. Kind of wrote a bit too big up here. That's all right. Uh, let's split this into two. If I have cos 4x equals, leave some space, zero, I can inverse cosine both sides like so. That crosses out. And 4x is going to equal the inverse cosine of 0. Uh, it says degrees, so the inverse cosine of 0 is 90 degrees. Okay, divide you by 4. And 90 divided by 4 is 22.5 degrees. So half of my answers, I know I'm not done yet, half of my answers are going to be 22.5. Now let's be a little careful because up here it says find all the solutions in degrees and it doesn't say like between zero and 360. So what I have to do because of the period that I'm given here, because my period is, where is it, 4x, I have to do 45n. So the period here repeats every 45 degrees, so I have to do 22.5 plus 45n. All right, let's do the other guy over here. If I were to take this guy, split it off to the side, and say cos negative 2x equals 0, because of 0 product property, inverse cosine, inverse cosine, Negative 2x equals, once again, 90 degrees. That part didn't change. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Negative 2. Mm -hmm. x is going to equal negative 45 degrees. Again, there's no bounds here. So I'm allowed to use negative 45 degrees. So x is going to equal also negative 45 degrees plus 90n. Why is this 90n? Because of the original problem, uh, it repeats every, or its, its period is going to be every 90 degrees, so I'm going to add 90n every single time. And so these are my answers. Yeah. Yeah. 
There they are. Not pretty. But those are them and thems are those.